Welcome to Matheson Library. During your college experience, you will be required to do research through online databases. An online research database is a collection of magazine, newspaper, and journal articles that can be found online. It seems simple enough, but some students find online databases intimidating. Some of you may not realize that you already know how to use an online database. Yes, Google is considered an online database. Although there are major differences between Google and an academic database, they perform the same functions. When we search in Google, we can use simple text and natural language to find the information we want. Based on the words we type, we can see that Google tries to figure out what we're thinking. However, in an academic database, we use what is called a keyword search. Remember those questions we typed into Google? We can take those same topics and pull out our keywords to search in an academic database. Keywords can be whatever you want. Whatever subject you're most interested in or studying, you can use them to search in an online database. Let's perform a real search in one of Matheson Library's databases. Go to www.westkentucky.kctcs.edu, then click Academics, then Matheson Library. This brings you to the library homepage. To access the databases, on the library's homepage, click on Find Articles slash Databases. If you are on campus and you choose a database, it will take you straight there. However, if you are off campus, you will be asked to type in your username and password in order to view our databases. This is the same username and password you use to log in on campus. Here, as an example, we will be using an online database called EBSCOhost. EBSCOhost houses several different databases that allow the user to do more subject-specific searches. First, click EBSCOhost from our database chart, and then click EBSCOhost Web. For our purposes, we will use a broad database called Academic Search Complete. Notice at the very top of the page, there is a search box. All databases have search boxes. This allows the user to enter in those keywords we talked about. A keyword search locates the exact word or words that you enter in an article, even though the words may not be located next to each other in that article. If you want to search for a particular phrase, such as ethics in business, you need to put the phrase in quotation marks before you search so that it will locate the entire phrase. Otherwise, it may locate an article that has the word ethics in one part of the article, the word in somewhere else in the article, and the word business in another part, and the article may or may not be about ethics in business. In addition, if you don't find an article on the topic that you're looking for, try using a similar word or a synonym. For example, if you search for cat and don't locate the information that you need, try searching for feline or a specific type of cat, such as angora. Different words get different results. You can also type information such as author, title, publication, or citation information. The databases have an advanced search option. This allows you to specify the criteria that you're looking for, such as publication, document type, and language. Heading back to the home page, several options to help refine the search are listed below the search box. In databases, these are called limiters. Full text requires the databases to only display back full, complete articles. The scholarly, peer-reviewed journals option returns articles that were reviewed by professionals in their field. You also have the option to limit to a specific date, month or year, format, and publication, or journal name. Once you have your search term typed in and the desired limiter set, you're ready to search. The database will take the terms you typed and generate a list of all the articles related to those terms. In EBSCOhost, you'll notice several features off to the left that can further help narrow down your search. In other databases, these options may be located in a different spot. The databases can help you by offering different subject areas, publications that your topic appears in, and information about your topic in other countries. You can select an article by clicking on its title. This will pull up the citation information, such as the author, 
publication source, date of publication, and the volume and issue number. On the right side of the page, there are tools that you can use when working with the article. A few of the features let you print, save, or email the article. The Cite feature will come in handy when giving reference to the article. The Cite feature will, will generate various formats for you to copy and paste into your paper for your Works Cited or References page. All the major formats are covered, APA, AMA, and MLA. Check with your instructor for which manual style you should use for your citations if you are unsure. Once the information is gathered and cited, a new search can be performed by typing in new terms in the search bar at the top. Now that you know how to navigate a database, we'd like to give you an overview of the different databases that will help you during your college career. For basic research needs and topics on general, current information, the library suggests EBSCOhost Academic Search Complete, Gale Databases Academic OneFile, and ProQuest. While these databases meet the needs of broad search topics, the databases EBSCOhost, Gale, and ProQuest also house more subject-oriented sub-databases. For instance, EBSCOhost offers Psychology and Behavioral Sciences Collection and PsychInfo for those studying psychology, and for those interested in medicine, CINAHL and HealthSource Nursing Edition. Under Gale Databases, Science and Context is a great database for science-related topics. Films on Demand and Naxos Music Library both offer fast live streaming of videos and music in a vast number of subject areas. For those wanting to search in newspaper publications, there is a database under EBSCOhost called Newspaper Source. It houses more than 40 U.S. and international papers, as well as almost 400 regional newspapers. Matheson Library purchases these databases so that students have access to thousands of reputable resources. These databases give you access to much more information than a Google search could offer. The library instruction team hopes this information will help in your future research needs.